Hi, this is uh, Larry. I'm going to talk you through how to set this up, and then you can um, crunch the numbers. And really, um, this is all about you learning how to do this. So I mean, the best way to watch this is when you get an idea, what I'm talking about, stop the video and see what you can work out about it. And then you can start the video to check what you're doing or help you out with the rest of the problem. But we're looking for the probability of two or more. I mean, two or more cars being involved in an accident in that time period. Now, to actually do it that way, we'd have to find the probability of two and the probability of three and the probability of four, all the way up to the probability of 100, and that's way too much work. So what I'd like to show you is think about the probability of two or more plus the probability of zero or one. That's all the possibilities. So the prob those two probabilities added up equals one. So the probability we're looking for, two or more, equals one minus probability of zero or one. So those two we can find out. I'm going to show you how to find the probability of zero. That means every car that goes through there during that certain part of the day does not have an accident. One car, I want you to think about What's the probability that one car goes through the intersection does not have an accident? That's 0.9999. Because we add that to the probability that it does, there is an accident, and that totals one. So that's one car. Now, for all the cars to make it through without an accident, we'd have to raise that to the hundredth power. 0.9999 plus times 0.999 times 0.999. Every one of 100 cars goes through there without an accident. So that equals 0.9999 to the hundredth power. So then we're going to look at the probability of one. The probability of one car, let's say the first car has an accident. That is the probability of 0. 0.000. .000 one, and then the next 99 do not. So the next 99, their probability of not having an accident is 0.9999. Now that's going to be raised to the 99th power. So that is a probability that the first car has an accident and the next 99 don't, but actually the second car can have an accident and the other 99 don't. Or the third car could have an accident and the other 99 don't. So there are a hundred ways for it to happen that one car out of a hundred has an accident. And so the probability of one car having an accident is a hundred times 0 .001, 0 .0001 for the one car that does have an accident times 0 0.9999 to the 99 for the 99 cars that do not. So that is a probability of zero or one, add those together. And then if we take one minus that, that is our probability of two or more. So I hope you've learned some things about how to set this up, how sometimes it's easier to look at the other possibility and subtract that from one to get what you're looking for. And I'm going to follow this. If you have any questions or comments, or if you think I did something wrong, then let me know and I'll take a look. Thanks a lot.